Okay, George, here's my setup. I have a uh, Mark IV gimbal from Helicam Solutions and a uh, six channel transmitter Futaba. So, this is it. It's got shock dampening for the uh, roll and also gyros for the roll, too. Um, I actually have the system on. I'll do a quick look around of it. There's where all my video cables are and everything. Batteries back here, downlinks right there. I'm not sure if the downlink interferes much with this servo. Hasn't been. I've been looking to see if it was moving or not um, when I was initially setting it up. And then servo for the pan is right up here. And you see the 401 gyros there. And then the tilt servo is right under here. Um, you can see my little bubble. Um, I've actually balanced out the roll here and they've also balanced out the tilt or so I thought there we go now the bubble is in the middle on the tilt so I'm going to go ahead and do I'm going to shake this I'm going to shake this uh, mount back and forth and I'll show you how much this sucker drifts I'm just going to do the roll. And just by doing that, my tilt actually, as you can see, the bubble's way off. And my roll. As you can see it there. There you can see it's way off there too. And that's not much. I didn't do too much to it as far as movement, but it was just enough to throw it off. And uh, it seems pretty extreme to me. Why? And one thing I noticed too on the roll, it's always off to the point where it'll require stick to the right to always correct it. So it's always off to the left. It's always off more that direction. Um, don't know why that is. We weird deal. But anyway, that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.